the real problem, I think, with foundations and the way we've done our conferences in the past has been that we have been speaking essentially to ourselves and we've continued this tradition of talking intensely and seriously about change, about new ideas, about exchanging perspectives. We're now making a departure from that. We're saying that's very important. It's important that foundation leaders and boards and staff talk to one another and learn about one another. We have to be able to communicate to a wider audience. We need to talk to the policy makers, we need to talk to the media, we need to talk to the public about what it is that foundations do. And for the first time, this year, Foundation Week is about that. It's about foundations showing off, maybe, for once. I usually tell foundations they shouldn't be showing off. But in this case, I think they need to show what it is that foundations are doing in Europe and outside of Europe. It's a very strong sector. Yeah, I'm really hoping that this is going to be something that punctuates the Brussels scene by saying, OK, here are these private resources for public good, and here is all the things that they do. If you look at foundations, from, for example, from the lens of cities, look at... Ten cities in Europe, Torino, I don't know, Frankfurt, uh, Stockholm, uh, uh, Lisbon, okay, Hamburg. There are some incredible impacts on, on, on people's lives that foundations are responsible for, from you know, social housing, uh, care of the elderly, uh, scholarships for students, university research, uh, green spaces, uh, cutting-edge technology, uh, uh, culture, media, uh, and also you know, disability and integration of migrants and so on. So all of that, if you look at it through the lens of cities, you can begin to see the impact that foundations have on people invisibly, and they don't really know about it. Mm -hmm. And so this is an opportunity for us to begin to showcase some of this incredible work that's going on in European cities.